Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about whether you should hire an intern or hire a developer. <laughs> All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in last week by Marwen Siraj who said, Hi Eric, I have this question for you. You start building a team to help you manage work on mobile apps and you can afford one developer, more experienced than yourself, or you can hire two interns and offer them a good salary and they will be more polyvalent. I'm not sure what polyvalent means. Uh, what kind of advice can you give me? Ooh, and as always, thank you for being my mentor even though even if you don't know it. Ah, thanks, Marwan. I appreciate that. I'm glad it helps. Whatever. The daily whatever. So, the reason I thought this was a good question is because I'm probably the last person to ask, right? But I've recently been going through this too. I've talked to you guys how, uh, I've talked to you guys over the last few weeks how we're looking to hire somebody actually in the office. So I've had a team overseas for years. I've, you know, i worked with them really well. But there's some things that are just, we just need somebody here locally for. And I was kind of like, should I get a developer or should I get someone who, who's not a developer, not technical, but still very smart and can, can learn and everything as they go and, you know, and probably not as expensive as being a developer. And I was, I was really going both ways on that. And then someone in the comments had said that they hire an intern to do a lot of the non-technical stuff. Uh, so that frees up their time to focus on technical issues, and I thought, and that kind of pushed me over the edge. So we, so we, so last week I hired somebody. Who they're going to be uh, starting here in the next few days. So one, one of my, one of the new things on my to-do list is to move the furniture around in here, make a little bit more room, and everything that sort of migrated its way from home that's not work-related. I need to bring that back. You know, stuff like. Like I got a, a barbell and a, stuff I never use, but I always thought, if I put this by my desk, I'll use it. Like a barbell and a meditation stool and all this kind of stuff. Thing. If I put it in the office, if it's there, then I'll use it, but I never have. So anyway, really excited about that. You know, finally growing the team locally. And it's, I'm a bit more nervous about this because I've never actually done like a full-time employee that hasn't been a freelancer and it's actually been, you know, here. So really excited about that. But and yeah, and I'll let you know how that goes, you know, after a while. Because it, one of the things I realized when I released my first app was that, you know, because as a developer, I think all I need to do is release a really good product, put it with a really good idea and a really good product and put it out into the world and it will be successful. But there's so much more involved than that. Even just, you know, answering emails is something I spend a lot of time doing, uh, responding to reviews. So I have a, so part of my team at the moment, my full-time team, as I have Sandy who's a designer, could not live without her. Right, it's, it's a skill that I don't have. You know, it's and uh, one I don't think I, I think it would take me too long to learn to be a good designer. So she's she she's you know like I I think I, I mentioned once before she's freaky about design, which is fantastic. And then I have Rowena, who's a, a virtual assistant. She does a lot of the day to day stuff. She'll check like I I mentioned yesterday the daily revenue report she does. She goes out and, and checks all that stuff. Uh, she responds to the reviews on the on the App Store, on the Play Store, and on the App Store. Right, which is which is very important. Oh, by the way, someone had told me recently that if you put keywords in your responses, it still registers. Yeah, you know, I, I mentioned before on one of my previous videos how a lot of the keywords that we rank for, we, we don't even have in the description or the name, but they're in the reviews. And I never thought about putting those in the in the responses to the reviews. So that's something I'm gonna experiment with a little bit. Don't tell anyone I told you, but if you have any experience with that, let me know because that sounds like like another new Another new uh, vein of gold to mine, if if that's if that's the case. But you know, I'll, I'll let you know more when I when I do that. But so Rowena does all this kind of stuff, and she's she's essential to the team. Couldn't live without her. And there's so many things, but there's still a lot of other things that you know, just need to be happen done in the office. So a lot of times, if I get stuck in something technical, like if I'm working on a project. And again, I work with overseas developers too. I have lots of developers that I work with, so you know they'll do a lot of the work. And sometimes if it's a nice juicy project that I could just give them, I could specify it out. That's that's a lot of fun. You know, architectural diagrams, you know, how, you know, coding standards, what we like to see, send that over to them. I've got like a bunch of 
you know, developers that I that I like to work with on a regular basis and you know, after a while and so many more that I don't so many more that I would never work with again but I, a lot that I would like to work with but sometimes if it's just something small like this is gonna take like half a day it's not worth even doing the documentation for or if it's like an existing project it's just easier for me me to do it right so sometimes when I'm stuck in stuff like that you know the phone will ring or something will take you out of the flow state so looking forward to having somebody there to do that kind of stuff so I don't really have a question, an answer for you, uh, Marwin, but I'm hoping by bringing it up here, other people do, and we'll put it in the comments. What I think is make a list of all the stuff that you that you like to do, and um, and things that have to be done, and things that you would like to do if you had the time. So there's certain things that you might think. I would like to learn a bit more about how I'm doing the Facebook advertising. Can I get someone else to do that learning for me and and learn all that and fill me in on how things go and. And, and explore other avenues of stuff. And if, if you enjoy doing the coding, right, then you might want to do the coding yourself. However, if, if you don't feel like you're a, a confident at the, at the code, I think you should, if you did bring in somebody who is, who is better than you, look, working with developers who are better than you is the way to become a better developer, right? I could just, you know, I could say when I'm working by myself for a long period of time, you get stale after a while, but you're working with people who are better than you, right? You, you, you just get better. You know, it, I mean, one of the, the benefits of, of my career is that I've, I've always worked with, oh, well, yeah, I've always worked with be, uh, developers who are really good and passionate about what they do. I mean, not always, but several times. I mean, you guys, you know them, you know, you, it's difficult to describe, but you could, you could, you know, the hungry developers when you, when you see it, you know, the passionate developers when you see them. So, um, so, uh, what I, I'm asking everyone else to do is if you have any experiences, if you have an opinion in this matter, let Marwin know. I think if you bring someone on to do some of the stuff that you're not, it depends on more what you want to do. For me, despite the fact that I know I should be doing more high value things and coding sometimes, I like doing the coding. I'm, yeah, I feel comfortable doing that. And sometimes I feel like, you know, when I work with, with clients and I, I'm able to demonstrate my knowledge there, you know, that really helps. So anyway, so. I'll keep you guys posted on how everything goes over the next few days. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.